what's the difference between an atom and an element? This is a really good question because a lot of people get confused about the difference between an atom and an element. The answer is, is really about quantity. How much do you have? An atom is a single particle. And it is also defined as the smallest particle of an element. An element is one or more identical particles. And those particles are atoms, which is one of the reasons why this definition is confusing because there's a, there's a lot of overlap between atom and element. So an element is one or more identical particles and the element is also defined as the most pure and the most simple form of matter. So let's draw some pictures here. Let's draw let's let's say we're going to, we're going to imagine the atom as being as being a sphere. So let's draw a single atom and let's make this an atom of gold. So if we have just one single particle of gold, one single atom, we would define that as an atom. If we take a few particles of gold, let's say we take like four and we push them all together. These are four gold particles with all four of them pushed together and we have many identical gold particles we would refer to this as an element. So the fact that we have four particles or atoms of gold all shoved together, that's what makes this meet the definition of an element. The single gold all by itself is an atom because it is just that one single particle. It's also an element. When you have one particle or one atom, it is also defined as an element. So as you can see, this is why the definition is kind of confusing. Um, just having one particle all by itself means that we can call it an atom and we can also call it an element. But when we push multiple particles together, we no longer refer to it as an atom. Instead, we refer to it as an element. It is important that you note that elements are made up of identical particles. So if we combined our gold particles with something else, I'm gonna draw some gray spheres in here as well. So we've got two different types of particles here. We've got the gray spheres mixing together with the pink spheres. This is not an element. And again, this is because it has two types of atoms or two types of particles. We'll talk about this type of substance later on, not today. Um, so today we're not focusing on this, just giving it to you as an anti-example. Um, so again, the definition or the distinction between an atom and an element just has to do with quantity. If there's only one, then you're allowed to call it an atom. Whether there's one or more than one, we can call it an element. This is a good time to take a look at the periodic table. The periodic table is a list of all of the elements or all of the atoms that have been discovered or synthesized. There's 118 of them. So each one of these boxes represents a unique atom or a unique element. This particular periodic table gives the name of the element on each box, but sometimes the name is not provided. So if you're asked a question such as, is iron an element or is iron an atom? One of the ways that you can answer that question is by looking for iron on the periodic table. If you can find it, that means that yes, it is an element. Yes, it is a type of atom. So since I can find iron on the periodic table, iron is an element. 
If you're asked a question like, is carbon monoxide an element? Or is carbon monoxide an atom? If you looked for carbon monoxide on this periodic table, you would not be able to find it anywhere because carbon monoxide is not an element. So again, all of the elements are listed on the periodic table. Everything that is not an element is not on the periodic table. All atoms and all elements are on the periodic table. And so if you're asked to define or answer the question, yes or no, is this an atom? Yes or no, is this a periodic table? Or excuse me, yes or no, is it an element? All you have to do is take a look at a periodic table and see if you can find that substance.